Chandrayaan 3 has started its journey towards moon. Our dear LVM3 has already put Chandrayaan 3 craft into the precise orbit around Earth. 170 by 36,500 kilometer was its intended target orbit and it is precisely there now. And let us wish all the best for the Chandrayaan 3 craft to make its further orbit racing maneuvers and travel towards moon in the coming days. So let me wish all the very best to Chandrayaan 3 for its further journey towards moon. Before that, let me introduce the team behind uh, this mission, the mission director, Mr. Mohan Kumar, and also the, and also the project director of LVM3. And uh, we have also the mission director for the Chandrayaan 3 craft, the project director of Chandrayaan 3, Veera Muthuvel. So over to them, Mohan. Thank you, sir. Honorable, Honorable Minister of State for Science and Technology and Departments of Space and Atomic Energy, uh, Dr. Jitendra Singh, respected uh, Chairman ISRO and Secretary Department and of Space, former secretaries of the department, invited dignitaries, respected uh, dignitaries and invitees, I am very happy to report here that the LVM3 M4 vehicle has injected the Chandrayaan-3 satellite to the uh, precise orbit uh, and once again the vehicle is proved to be the most reliable heavy lift vehicle of Indian Space Research Organization. Congratulations to the teamwork of ISRO family. Uh, I would like to appraise three things here. The vehicle systems are in the continuous process of quality improvement especially in the, uh, in the uh, event of our human rating efforts towards making the systems reliable. Secondly, the payload also, capability of the payload also is improved by mission uh, strategies as well as vehicle engineering approaches. We are in the process of increasing the launch uh, frequency of this vehicle considering the national requirements as well as satellite demands. Here, so many uh, improvements we have uh, incorporated in this vehicle. For example, the S200 nozzle, they are processed exactly as per the human rating standards, uh, uh, enabling us to have 100% NDT and the inherent pocket erosion characteristics are removed. The L100 and stage Vikas engine, mostly it is 100% uh, qualified to be the human rated engine with uh, indigenously developed LET throats and the uh, Pocket, uh, the uh, back wall gas entry also is eliminated and it is a perfect uh, system. Oh, yes, uh, and the C20, <laughs> C20 stage also is uh, 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 perfectly, uh, 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 actually, <laughs> good, good. So we will, we will yeah. describe all those details later ah, because of shortage of time. Yes, sir. I take this opportunity to thank all the mission executives uh, because <laughs> mission executives for all the supports all along the uh, launch campaign process as well as the launch. Once the la launch manifest is uh, released and mission executives are identified, really this is a penance of so many across the ISRO centers, our launch vehicle centers, VSSC, LPSC, IPRC, IASU, SDSC, SHAR, URSC and SAC, uh, along with all our industrial partners, major players to the, uh, uh, the uh, small scale industries who supply us with uh, all the deliverables in time, quality products, the suppliers of chemicals, propellant ingredients, uh, suppliers of avionic systems, and our own GOCO facility operators. Actually, the industrial manpower is really our ISRO's virtual manpower. Uh, everybody's uh, efforts went into this and uh, called the, uh, also the prayers and best wishes of all our seniors, retired executives, every, everyone's prayers and our own family members. I take this opportunity to uh, pray God Almighty for all the blessings in the form of this success, which was the penance by the ISRO family for last 73 days. And my prayerful pranams for the successful continuous operations of the Chandrayaan spacecraft for its safe and soft landing on lunar surface and further experiments. Thank you. Jai Hind.
respected chair minister center directors dignitaries and uh, my team chandrayaan 3 very happy to note that our chandrayaan 3 has been injected into an intended orbit with very close orbital parameters congratulations and thanks to lvm3 team and all our spacecraft health parameters are normal including the power generations in both propulsion module and lander module our our journey to moon has begun now for the most awaited soft landing will be closely monitoring and controlling the spacecraft from istrak bangalore uh, many critical events are lined up starting from earthbound maneuvers insertion into the lunar orbit and separation of lander and set of deboost maneuvers and finally the power descent phase for a soft landing i take this opportunity to thank chairman isro director urc and all the center directors for entrusting me this opportunity who are behind who have been the motivational and guidance force uh, behind this mission my special thanks to chandrayaan 3 project executives associate project director kalpana deputy project directors project managers across the isro isro centers uh, who have who have provided an excellent support in building the spacecraft my special thanks to the the expert committees for their constant guidance throughout the various stages of the project i also thank the uh, uh, the various uh, work centers and industries who have contributed directly and indirectly to this mission my special thanks to urc council members group directors deputy directors across the isro centers and uh, this uh, looking forward for the soft landing with all your wishes and blessings from the god thank you Uh, we have our honorable minister for space minister of state for space dr jitendra singh ji amongst us during this historic occasion of success of launching of lvm3 so I, we would like to hear a few words from him over to you sir it is indeed a moment of glory for india and a moment of destiny for all of us over here at sri hari kota who are a part of the history in making thank you team isro for making india proud and thank you honorable pm narendra modi ji for having made this possible by unlocking the gates of sri hari kota and enabling the india's space sector you would recall honorable prime minister had very recently said sky is not the limit and living by his words i think the chandrayaan today has gone beyond the limits of sky to discover the unexplored horizons of the universe beyond <laughs> ladies and gentlemen this day today the 14th of july 2023 is also a day of vindication vindication of the dream that vikram sarabhai saw 6 decades ago he might have been short of resources but never short of confidence and when we see those pictures of a launcher vehicle being carried on the carriage of a bicycle without any remorse without any slightest embarrassment that is because vikram and his team had faith in themselves faith in india's potential faith in india's acumen and today here we are vindicating and we are reiterating india's indigenous capabilities living up to the ideal of atmanirbhar bharat and before i conclude ladies and gentlemen as mother india enters into the next 25 years of this amrit kal she pledges to play a leading global role in the emerging world scenario of 21st century thank you and congratulations once again thank you sir we will also introduce the directors of the centers who have done all those great work of building the rocket building the scientific instruments for chandrayaan 3 the chandrayaan spacecraft itself and made all those critical systems and also the uh, agencies who are going to handle the rest of the mission part 
the tracking and the ground, sta ground stations and all those teams will be are here. So I request the directors of those centers to join. First, director of Vikramsara Bay Space Center. Good afternoon, India. In last one year, this is the tenth mission, including the precise landing of the reusable land launch vehicle. So with this mission, this is the seventh mission of LVM3, the successive successful mission. With this, the success rate of LVM3 is 100%. And this is the ideal vehicle for Gaganyan. <laughs> Some of the changes that we are incorporating in Gaganyan, we have implemented here. And the uh, Mark III has crossed the reliability of 0.9 and inching forward. So I take this opportunity to salute the entire ISRO community, especially the VSC community and all launch vehicle centers, industry partners for making the stages, making the sub-assemblies sub and testing. In fact, this is the third launch of LVM3 in one year. You know, they're, uh, they're realizing the stages, assembling, testing, and then launching three LVM3s in one year is a Herculean task. I salute the industry as well as all the ISRO centers for this. And And I wish all the very best. We know that when the beginning is good, the ending has to be good. I wish all the very best to the Chadrayaan for its solitary journey through the vastness of space and for making a feather-like soft landing in the fourth week of August. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Narayanan, Director LPSC. Good afternoon to all of you. It is a historical event for Indian space program and a proud movement for all the Indians across the globe on this movement the occasion of the successful launch of the Chandrayaan-3. Three. three in one spacecraft in the required orbit with the highest level of precision by our heaviest launch vehicle, LVM-3. After the two launches of LVM-3 vehicle this year, this vehicle is realized in the record shortest time. Today, once again, all the vehicle systems have performed, demonstrated the seventh successive, successful launch. As you all know, the entire spacecraft community has put wholehearted effort during last four years, and we have realized a marvelous, great scientific satellite. For this mission, the entire vehicle performance is as expected, as predicted, in fact, the precision in which the satellite is launched shows the reliability of this vehicle. And we too have four liquid propulsion modules, two in the launch vehicle, the L-110 stage, C-25 stage, it has performed extremely well along with all other vehicle systems. We too have two more propulsion modules, one for taking the spacecraft to the moon, another one for soft landing. I think it is already well integrated, the system health is very good. Today's success is the culmination of the dedicated, smart, and hard work of all the ISRO team members and the work culture of ISRO and the review process what we follow. I am sure all further mission operations will be a grand success and we'll have the successful soft landing. On this occasion, let me congratulate and compliment the members of ISRO team, our family members who have really sacrificed, the partners from industry and academia, and the various review fora. Thank you. Jai Hind.